a very common mistake that most of the students make and they are unaware of it which compromises their preparation and this is not an academic mistake so what is it before i tell you the mistake let me ask you another thing does it happen with you that you study something very very sincerely religiously you put all the effort in attending the classes making the notes attempting the assignments but then when the test comes you are not able to score marks in test and after the test when the teacher tells you the solutions of those questions everything seems so obvious you realize that none of the questions were out of your reach everything was within your reach and you could have done this in the test but you keep wondering that why we were not able to do this in test and why does it look so natural when sir solves it or maybe ma'am solves it depending upon who your teacher is now if you are uh, if you are affected with this problem then watch this video till the end and do let me know in the comments also if you are affected so what is the root cause of this problem let me tell you that so when you practice questions from the assignment it is expected that you will get stuck in a, some of the questions i'm pretty sure that you do get stuck then what do you next then what do you do next you maybe look for the solutions uh, written solutions either in the book or maybe on internet or you ask your friend or maybe you wait for the next discussion class to happen and then you ask the question to your teacher and your teacher tells you the solution you see the solution you understand what was to be done pay attention to it i'm saying that you understand what was to be done in the question okay and then you feel convinced about it you understand everything and then you ask the next question and we move on from this episode we move to the next question eventually to the next chapter okay now here is what is wrong what you did not do was repeating the same question by your hand by writing it in a notebook this is the most important element of doubt addressal let me explain this to you by giving you an example suppose i went to a diagnostic center and i gave my blood sample and then i want you know i want a blood test to be done on me so when i am getting this blood test done okay what is the equivalent situation in your solving process so when you are solving the assignment okay it is like a diagnostic test that you are running on your brain to check how efficiently your brain knows a certain concept and how efficiently your brain can recall the concept and apply it when it is needed so that's a diagnostic test that you are running on your brain the assignment is your diagnostic test okay so i went to the uh, diagnostic center i gave my blood sample the report came indicating that so and so let's say vitamin a vitamin b whatever so and so things are uh, you know they are not in the desired range so they are off the mark so i come to know from a blood report so when you attempt the assignment the doubts that you face maybe question number 2 maybe question number 7 maybe question number 9 so these are your uh, you know these are your reports which are off the mark you know these are the elements that are missing or maybe they are less okay you, so you need to address this okay next coming back to my blood test i see that there are some numbers which are not within the desired range what do i do i go to the doctor and i tell them that these are my shortcomings you know these these are the numbers which are off the mark so correspondingly you go to the next class and you tell your teacher so these are the questions i was not able to do okay what does the doctor does next the doctor tells me the doctor prescribes me medicines he tells me maybe the cause of why i am missing those elements in my blood uh, okay and then he gives me a prescription okay similarly the teacher tells you how to solve those questions the teacher solves those questions in front of you so that's the prescription that you have got right now here comes the difference in your academics you moved on to the next question okay you moved on to the next chapter okay so essentially if i compare it with my blood test situation what i'm doing is that i'm taking the prescription from the doctor and i'm happy with the prescription i'm saying that okay i identified my weak areas i got the prescription so i know that what i need to have okay so let me go to my next blood test let me test something else in my blood i did not do anything to address the shortcoming that's what you miss and that is that becomes the root cause of you guys not scoring marks in test okay now what is to be done you have seen the solution how the questions were to be solved come back home no matter how convinced you are that you remember the solution 
you know that is the most common feedback that i get from my students uh, you know over the years i've got, i've got this uh, feedback that sir i have just seen the solution you know a couple of hours back i saw how you solved the question i remember it every step i remember it you are asking me to redo it on a piece of paper i remember it in my brain i'll just have to copy it i'll not even be using my brain i'll have to copy it so there's probably no point of doing that because i remember everything but you know it doesn't happen that way when you try to redo that question seven out of ten times you are going to get in the same question again okay you may think that you remember stuff but when you start doing it on your own there will always be a, another possibility that will come to your mind that okay maybe i can do this also sir did this but uh, maybe we can do this also will that give will that also give you the answer if not why not if yes then okay then that was a good thing you now know an alternative solution but the point is that when you do that you will then realize that you are again getting stuck somewhere in the solution and now when you see that this was the area where i got stuck and this is how sir overcame this sir or ma'am you know whoever your teacher is this is when you realize that okay this is what was to be done this is what i was missing so when you notice this when you notice your shortcoming okay and then you take a mental note of it when you spend time on thinking about this okay i miss this part then your brain takes a mental note of that concept it it you know it creates a marker okay and that helps you to recall this particular step and use it the next time you face the same question and therefore the next time when you face the same question you are able to do better and you are able to score marks in the test so this element is missing guys the consumption of the medicine you are just happy by having the prescription with you but that is not enough you need to consume that prescription in terms of academics consumption part is redoing the doubt by writing in your own hand then realizing that which step was uh, you know your shortcoming and taking a mental note of it so when you do this it is then that you are actually making full use of the doubt that you had if you are not doing this then you will always stay the kind of student who works very hard who understand everything when it is explained to them but who are not able to convert their knowledge into marks so don't be that student guys because ultimately what you know okay is something that you can demonstrate to the world only through your marks and test and that is what is going to give you an admission to a great college so you need to acquire this skill and as far as the preparation is concerned the acquisition of this skill lies in reattempting your doubts okay i'll come back to one my statement that i made earlier in the session i said that you will uh, see the solution you will get the solution you will know what to do but knowing what to do is not enough knowing what you have been lacking is the key point that you need to address in your preparation